What's up everybody? In today's q and I'm going to be telling you how I got such a big bench press arch. Damn, that arch though, man. That arch. So I have some keys for you guys in terms of how to improve your bench press arch. And the first key is that you got to stop thinking of arching as some sort of weird flexibility or mobility trick and start thinking of arching as a skill. Now, why do I want you to think of arching as a skill? Because skills are something that you can build with practice. You get good at what you repeatedly do. So here's the thing. I've been benching two to four times a week for probably two years now. And every single time that I bench, on every single set, including with the bar, I arch as hard as I can. So in terms of mobility or flexibility, I'm really getting mobility work for my arch two to four times a week because I'm always arching hard every time I bench and I'm constantly working on developing my arching technique. So my number one piece of advice for you guys out there who don't have a very good bench press arch and want to start learning how to arch better is to start thinking of arching as a skill and look at your arch as a technique. So first of all, if you don't have a technique for arching, go ahead and copy mine. Here's what it looks like. Okay guys, here's my patented bench arch technique. The first thing you're gonna do is lay down on the bench, get your feet on the bench, and bridge. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna drive all your weight onto your traps. Okay, see how all the weight's dropped onto my traps there? The next thing is that you're gonna place your hands on the upright of the bench and push inwards to get your shoulder blades tighter and to dig your traps deeper onto the bench. Next, walk your heels under your ass, and now what we're going to do is you're going to kick your feet down as close to your shoulders as you can on the ground. Next, push into the uprights to maximize your arch. Take your grip on the bar and start driving your heels down. Once you've got your heels driven down as hard as you can, that's the arch technique that I use for bench. Now, key number two. I'm no fool. I know you guys came to this video expecting some sort of crazy mobility drill like out of a Kelly Sarat video or what have you mashing some sort of your part of your body with like a medicine ball or something. Now I'm not going to do that. Um, I don't do any of that mobility nonsense to be honest. However, I do have one mobility drill for you guys that I feel is the single best drill for arching and that is what I call the arching stretch. So here's what it looks like. All right, so first you're gonna set up an arch the way that I just showed you. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna push up into the arch using the bar as high as you can, and then drive your head as close to your ass as you can, and just hold this position for about 10 seconds. Once it gets hard to hold, drive back up, hold that for 10 seconds, and you're arching as hard as you can this whole time. Drive your head as close to your butt as possible again, hold for 10 seconds, and repeat this five to 10 times before you bench, and it's a great way to really improve your arch. Guys, if you ever want to improve mobility on something, guess what? Specificity applies to that too. So if you want to get better at getting into a certain position, yeah, you can do all sorts of different stretches and hope that they add together to better positioning. But in my opinion, you should just go into that position and work on opening things up within that position so that you can uh, assume it more easily. And there's really no different with arching. I hope that was a helpful video for you guys. So if you found this content informative, interesting, or entertaining, please like, share, and send it out into the interwebs for me. Subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out powerliftingtowin.com for more great powerlifting information. Have a nice day.